Good morning, folks. We've got a can't miss update as our top story today. We'll be covering space weather, cold events, some awesome eye candy from Chandra, and an update on the solar system dust from the galactic current sheet. We are starting with the last 24 hours on our star and we find a mostly calm day. There was one solar flare from the bigger sunspots turning into central heliographic longitudes, but it did not produce a big CME. The coronal hole on the south looks fairly small, and at that latitude it may miss Earth completely. We're going to take a quick look at that solar flare here in 131 angstroms. This is the same group that has produced all the solar flares since New Year's Eve. We'll be facing Earth over the next two days. We're on flare watch for sure. But meanwhile, the high energy protons are continuing to stream to Earth through the interplanetary magnetic field. We broke up over the warning threshold for low level storm conditions, which only really matters for polar ozone, polar jets, and gives a nudge to ice loss. It is not expected to go much higher unless we get more significant solar flares from those sunspots. And speaking of which, there are a couple of noteworthy groups coming towards center disk, but the big southern one has the most interesting complexity. It is the flare maker so far, and that is due to its magnetic setup. Most sunspots are split laterally, but this one is split vertically with the positive and negative zones on a north-south line. That is unusual and is helping it to produce those flares. We'll be watching it closely today. Up next, cold is taking over parts of the northern hemisphere while it's nice and temperate in the west. Scandinavia taking a serious cold and snow event. We also have record cold notched in Vietnam. That one is over at coldweatherreport.com. And the same goes for South Korea's largest snow event in 42 years. The dichotomy of weather weirdness and extreme swings across the Northern Hemisphere is very impressive. Up next, good bit of eye candy here. The difference between the optical, infrared, and x-ray signatures from 30 Doradus is pretty remarkable and combines to show it was actually the result of a double nova given the remaining stars in the center of the remnant, might not be the last one either. Today's top story hits the dust in the outer solar system. We've seen that the dust is increasing in the inner solar system in three separate papers, but now we have New Horizons confirming it is a total solar system event, dust far outpacing the model expectations, and while they do grasp at explanations in the paper involving Kuiper Belt Dynamics, this is yet another signal of the arrival of the galactic current sheet and the dust that has been stuck to it. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.